Welcome, friends, to a very special edition of Behind the Bowtie Presents Storytime. I hope you're wrapped in the warmth of the holiday spirit because today we're diving into a beloved tale perfect for a festival season. This delightful story takes us on a magical journey with the jolly postman as he delivers letters to our beloved fairy tale characters during Christmas. But before we embark on this enchanting adventure, let's take a moment to share the joy of the season with a heartfelt Christmas message. To all those watching, may your hearts be filled with the warmth of love, the joy of giving, and the beauty of this magical season. May the melody of laughter and the spirit of togetherness grace your homes, making every moment merry and bright. And remember, the greatest gifts are not found under the tree, but in the hearts of family and friends. Merry Christmas to you and yours. The Jolly Postman's Christmas. Once upon a Christmas Eve, just after it had snowed, the Jolly Postman, him again, came down the Jolly Road, and in the bag upon his back, an interesting load. First stop, Four Bears Cottage. It's addressed to Baby Bear, Four Bears Cottage, the woods. And it is a card that says Santa's Workshop. Inside the card, to Baby Bear and Brother from Goldilocks and Sister, Happy Christmas. And a Christmas joke. Who's been eating my pudding? Who's been eating my pudding? Who's been eating my pudding? Be quiet, you silly bears. I haven't served it yet. All right, so put that back in there. A Christmas card for baby bear. A baby or bear who's shy. A mommy up a ladder. A postman with a pie. A postman on his bike again. Ta-ta. Take care. Bye-bye. The jolly postman circles on. He sees three fiddlers playing. The fast eloping dish and spoon. The mighty beanstalk swaying. The seven dwarfs upon the hill. The jolly snowman slain. And by and by, second stop he comes to Red Riding Hood's house. First class, Miss R. R. Hood. The playhouse, garden path, diddle dumpling. And inside we've got Beware, get out of the woods. The rules. Throw a six, five, four, three, two, or one to start. No cheating. Friendly, that means you. No making faces at your little, big sister or brother. No arguing with your mom, dad, grand, uncle, Charlie, the milkman. No boasting if you win. No sulking if you lose. EC. Have fun and remember, there's worse than wolves in the woods. Ah, so inside we have a card, a board game. Beware of the hazardous board game. It's from Mr. Wolf to R.R. Hood. This festive time of year, a little gift for being good. And a Merry Christmas, dear. P.S. I am a changed wolf. A jolly game, a lucky girl. But see what's written here from Mr. Wolf? He's got a nerve. A Merry Christmas, dear. The postman can't think what to say and sips his ginger beer and eats his pie and waves bye-bye. The postman gets back on his bike and rides another mile. A crooked mile, in fact. It takes him quite a while. He never finds the sixpence, though. Or, come to that, the style. And besides, the crooked man has it. Next stop, the hospital. Addressed to Mr. H. Dumpty, Wincy Ward, Cock Robin Memorial Hospital. Oh, and inside we've got a little puzzle, Humpty's Jigsaw. Humpty Dumpty comes to bits. Put him together and see how he fits. Dear Humpty, get well soon. From all the king's men and horses, happy Christmas. Humpty Dumpty smiles and blinks. A jigsaw for me? What fun, he thinks. From all the king's horses and all the king's men, how nice. And then he falls out of bed. 
and gets cracked again twice. Never mind, in comes the Dr. Foster, in comes the nurse, in comes the lady with the alligator purse, and they mend him. The jolly postman waves goodbye, or waves bye-bye. He still has far to go. The sun has vanished from the sky. The clouds are hanging low. He feels a kiss upon his cheek. The first fresh flakes of snow, and comes number four to a small tin door. Addressed to the gingerbread boy, McVitty House, Little Toe Lane, Toy Town. Oh, what do we got in here? Aha, we've got a little thing to look at here. Simple Simon Complete Book of Knowledge. Simple Simon's Complete Book of Knowledge. So, it's got, well, that's interesting. It's got a little book. You'll be able to see it. Simple Simon's Complete Book of Knowledge. Introduction, my name is Simple Simon and I know lots of things. I know my onions and which side of my bread is buttered. I know the score, it's three to zero, and many beans make five. It's your quite a few. I know some things inside out. My socks, for instance. The only thing I don't know is whether I'm coming or going, but I think I'm going bye-bye. Okay, so it's a little booklet and there's a card. It says the Toy Town Christmas Annual, stories and pictures for little people. All your favorites, Tom Thumb, Teeny Tim, Wee Willy Winky, and many more. And if you go through it, there's a book about flying high. Here we go, all aboard, take care. Hold tight, Tom Thumb and his chums are off for a fight, flight over the hills and far away where the dragons roam and mermaids play. Took the home at last, hooray, the winner to a cozy fire and a Christmas dinner. All right, and you can see there's other activities through there. We'll take the time to go through them all. All right. A book and a book, says the gingerbread boy. What a simply delicious surprise. But if he only knew, he's in one too. That really would open his eyes. Then a bucket of tea for the postman and four and twenty mince pies. Off through the snow the postman rides with more than a meal on his insides. He's all shook up and all a quiver and it's not just the cold that makes him shiver. There's a letter he'd rather not deliver to you know who. Mr. Wolf, address the den. And what have we got inside? Oh, we've got a newsletter. The Wolf Spotter's Guide, Christmas edition. Some good advice for girls and boys, grandmas, woodcutters, small pigs, gingerbread boys, turkey sandwiches, and pineapple yogurts. They'll eat anything. Watch out, spot the wolf. Hello, hello, hello. The easy, with a briefcase. The hard, a policeman. And possible genius, the Christmas tree. Clues, look out for teeth. Big, bushy tail, very hairy, growls. So there's no excuse really. Ears big, eyes big, specializes in old ladies. Don't be taken in and we mean in. Keep the wolf from your door, the window and out of the chimney. Hiding places, the pussy in the well, the jack in the box, the man in the moon, they'll get anywhere. This is not the ugly duckling, well, not the duckling, anyway. Christmas disguises. This is not a turkey. This is not Father Christmas. Don't post your cards here. A wolf in sheep's clothing. Useful tips. Avoid the woods, straw houses, and the company of little pigs. Stick to the path. Above all, get your grandma to visit you. Don't be fooled. For Mr. Wolf, a cheeky Christmas from you-know-who and her grandma. Oh, that was sweet. But all's well and all's merry. The wolf's just wolfing pies and sherry and playing games in his cozy den. What's the time, Mr. Wolf? With the three little pigs and the little red hen. After all, it is Christmas. But now it's really snowing and the winter's wind is blowing and the daylight is going. So the jolly postman, jolly cold, has just one no way of knowing where he is. 
he stops beside a wall of ice and spies a crack of light. He finds a little golden door and disappears from sight along a tunnel, dark and cool, to a workshop, warm and bright. A cup of tea with Santa and Miss Santa too. Got any letter, children's letters? The postman smiles. A few. Well, fancy that, says Santa. Now we've got one for you. For our good old pal, the postman. Let's see what he gets. Oh, he gets a little postcard. And inside that postcard, I hmm, don't know how we'll film this, but it opens up. There's a story inside. Oh, let me see it this way. And inside, you can see different things. Kind of hard to show. A peep show for a postman. The postman peeps inside. A postman's round completed. It's time to take a ride. But how to make the journey? The drifts are deep and wide. To avoid the snow, ho, 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 over you go. A jolly postman, warm and snug. A postman's dog upon the rug. A clock that's chiming in the hall. A Merry Christmas, one and all. In the end. Thanks, guys. Have a Merry Christmas.